Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we're going to learn how to create Facebook pages post from Microsoft Excel. So I am an owner of a business and I post content related to my business on my Facebook page to create more customers engagement. I create all of my posts manually which takes me a lot of time. So the solution to this problem is I created an automation using Pabli Connect which is an amazing automation and integration software. So here in this automation what we are going to learn is that as soon as I am going to add the details of the content that I want to post on my Facebook page in my Microsoft Excel worksheet, automatically that content is going to be created as a post on my Facebook page. And for that we are going to be creating an automation between Microsoft Excel and Facebook with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you want to learn this amazing automation then let me take you all to my screen. Welcome to my screen. In this video, we're going to learn how to create Facebook page posts from Microsoft Excel. I owe a trading company and I regularly update my clients and followers on market trends, stock updates, company news and trading tips. Traditionally, I prepare my content in Microsoft Excel for analysis and then manually post each and every update on my Facebook page as a post. With the help of this automation, as soon as I update my Microsoft Excel worksheet, it is automatically going to be created as a post on my Facebook page. Ensuring timely and consistent updates, this does not only enhance my company's online presence but also keeps my audience informed and engaged with the minimum effort of my part. And we are going to be creating this amazing automation with the help of Pabli Connect. So on the screen you can see the website of Pabli Connect that is pabli.com slash connect. After browsing this website we need to sign in to our Pabli Connect account. But if you are a new user you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So as I am an existing user I am going to sign in to my Pabli Connect account. After signing in you can see the all Pabli apps window in front of you in which you can see the 5 applications of Pabli. From which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on access now. Then Pabli Connect dashboard is going to appear in front of you. In order to start an automation process in Pabli Connect, we need to create a workflow. For that, click on the top right corner button right over here that says create workflow. A dialog box is then going to appear in front of you which is asking for a workflow name and us to select a folder. For the workflow name, I am going to give a name to my workflow as how to create Facebook page post for Microsoft Excel. So this is the name that I want to give to my workflow. Okay. Next it is asking for us to select a folder. So on the left side of my screen you can see I have created multiple folders in my Pabli Connect account from which I am going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow and for that click on this arrow. So these are the folders from which I am going to select Microsoft Excel automations as the folder I want to save this workflow in. After giving a name to a workflow and selecting the folder let's click on create in order to create a workflow. A workflow is created in the name of how to create Facebook pages post for from Microsoft Excel and there are two windows in front of you. One over here says trigger, other says action. Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two concepts. Over here trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means our action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process there can be only one trigger step but multiple action steps. Firstly we need to set up our trigger step for that click on this arrow and for the trigger application we are going to select it as Microsoft Excel. So I'm going to select my trigger application as Microsoft Excel as my objective is that as soon as I'm going to enter the content that I want to post on my Facebook page on my worksheet that I've created using Microsoft Excel automatically public and it should capture the response. After that for the trigger event I'm going to select it as new row in worksheet whenever a new row is going to be added in the worksheet that we have created in our Microsoft Excel automatically public and it is going to capture the response. After selecting the trigger application and the event I'm going to click on this connect button and new window is going to appear on which click on add new connection but if you want you can select the existing connection after that click on connect with microsoft excel a new window is going to appear which is asking for a permission so i'm going to click on accept as the save process in my data is perfectly saved with Pabli connect so i'm going to click on this accept button as you can see that we successfully authorized microsoft excel with Pabli connect after authorizing, firstly over here it is asking for us to select the workbook and the worksheet. So I've created a workbook in the name of Facebook page content and the worksheet in the name of content right over here. So what I'm going to do is for the workbook over here I'm going to search for Facebook page content. And for the worksheet, I'm going to select over here as content, okay? After selecting the workbook and the worksheet, over here you can see it says save and send test request button. 
If you're going to click on this button, what is going to happen? The last data you have entered in this worksheet right away is going to be captured in our Pabli Connect response. Okay. But as we have not entered any data right away, so firstly we're going to enter the data right away and then we're going to click on the Save and Send Test Request button. It is asking for the title of our post and the content of our post. Okay. I'm going to enter the title and the content, but if you want, you can also add images or details as per your requirement. Okay. So I'm going to enter the title and the content that I want to post on my Facebook page. For the title over here, I'm going to write it as I have written the title as educational series understanding stock market basics. So this is the title of the content that I want to post on my Facebook page. Okay. Next for the content over here I am going to write it as. So for the content I have written the content you can see right over here that I want to post on my Facebook page. Okay. So after writing the title and the content in this worksheet right away what I am going to do is now I am going to click on this save and send test request button. I am going to click on it. As we have clicked on save and send test request, you can see we have received a response right over here. In the response, we have received the title that was educational series understanding stock market basics and the content that we have written in our spreadsheet, you can see has been captured in our response right over here. So as you successfully received the content and the title of the post that we want to create in our Facebook page, that means Microsoft Excel is now successfully connected with Pabli Connect. So now whenever you get to enter the title or the content or other details in this worksheet right over here, automatically Pabli Connect is going to capture the response. But if you're not going to receive the response instantly after adding the title and the content, then do not worry. As Microsoft Excel is a polling based application, you can see where it says eight hours is a polling duration. That means in every eight hours, whenever the new data is going to be captured by Microsoft Excel, it is going to send that new data to Pabli Connect in every eight task duration right over here and if you want to make any changes in this trigger time you have to click on this three dots button click on set trigger time so the due dialog box is going to appear which is asking for us to select the trigger time over here in the drop down you can see the minimum trigger time you can select is of 90 minutes to the maximum of 24 hours okay you can select the trigger time over here as per your requirement i am going to select it as eight hours only and then i'm going to click on the save button if you want you can set up your trigger time according to your requirement okay so as now this trigger setup is done successfully that means microsoft excel is now successfully connected with pabli connect so now let us set up our action step and as our objective is that that as soon as we go to enter the details of the title and the content in our worksheet automatically this title and the content should be created as a post in my Facebook page that I've created. So we go to set up our action step. Now and for the action application, I'm going to select it as Facebook pages. And for the action event, I'm going to select as create a page post. Now as we want to create a page post right over here. Okay. And if you are also taking the image URL in your worksheet right over here, what you have to do is for the action event, you can take it as create a page photo post. Okay. So that you can enter a photo as well. As I just want to post the content on my Facebook page, I'm going to select as create page post. Okay. And then we're going to click on connect to connect Facebook pages to public connect. A new window is going to appear on which click on add new connection. But if you want, you can select the existing connection. Remember to log into your Facebook account beforehand on a new tab so that connecting public connect and Facebook pages can be much easier. Okay, so I'm going to click on this connect with Facebook pages button. As you can see that we successfully authorized Facebook pages to Pabli Connect. Firstly, over it is asking for us to select a page. So I've created a page in my Facebook account in the name of Easy Trade. This is the name of my business. And I am posting content related to trading so that I can engage my clients and followers on this page that is Easy Trade right over here. So for the page over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select over here as Easy Trade. Okay. Next, it is asking for the message that we want to publish on our Facebook page as a post. So for the message over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to map the data. Mapping means inserting data from the previous step. So we are going to insert the data from the previous step of this workflow and how mapping works is as soon as you click on this field right away, it says Microsoft Excel new row in worksheet. I'm going to click on it. And this was the same response that was captured in our previous step. For the message, I want the message as the title for. So I'm going to select the date of the title, enter, enter again. And I want the content that I've selected. Okay. So this is the message that is the post that is the content that I want to post on my Facebook page. Okay. And as I map the data from the previous step, the data has now become dynamic. That means whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step, automatically the new data is going to be updated in place of this map data. Okay. Next it is asking for the link URL. If you want, you can attach a link URL to this post right over here according to your requirement. I do not require the field. So I'm going to skip the part. Okay. After that, I'm going to click on the save and send test request button. As I'm going to do that over here, we're going to receive a response, which is a positive response. So now let us open our Facebook page and we're going to check whether the content has been posted on our Facebook page or not. For that, I'm going to open my Facebook page. I'm going to refresh this page from here. 
As I've refreshed the page, you can see right over here a new content has been posted on my Facebook page with the title as Educational Series Understanding Stock Market Basics. And this is the same content that we have added in our Microsoft Excel worksheet. So this means that we fully created an automation between Microsoft Excel and Facebook with the help of Pabli Connect. So now to sum up till now what we have done, I am an owner of a trading company and to create my customers and clients engagement, I post content related to trading tips, stock markets or updates on my Facebook page. By manually doing this, it takes me a lot of time. So I simply created an automation between Microsoft Excel and Facebook page with the help of Pabli Connect and this is how you create this amazing automation. So if you like this video, please do subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment down below if you have any questions or doubts and please share this video. Not just with these applications, you can create automation with the help of Pabli Connect between multiple applications. If you have any doubts, you can send us an email on support at the rate pabli.com. If you have any queries, you can ask your queries on forum.pabli.com. If you have any queries regarding the pricing of Pabli Connect, then you can check out this link. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment down below if you have any questions and doubts and please share this video and thank you for watching.